Hello everyone, it's Kylie Batucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia with you and I wasn't sure if I was going live today, but I'm here. So, hello to you all. I'm sorry that I'm a little bit late. Um, I actually looked at the news and realised that my mum had a tsunami warning this morning. So I thought, you know what, I really need to check she's okay first and hear from her, which I did, which is good news. But all along the Fungaray and Bay of Islands, they've had to move inland because of a tsunami warning. So lots of things happening. How is everyone? Hopefully we get a few jump on or they find me. I'll, po I'll pop up the link everywhere so that everyone knows where I am because I didn't have anything scheduled today. I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to see how I feel, see see what's happening and then play it by ear from then. Oh, we've got a few jumping on. Diana, hello. And even last night I was like, oh, do I create something? I don't know if I feel like it, but I did. I created something. I cannot believe it. I surprise myself sometimes. <laughs> I really do. So I thought what I'd do today, and I'll probably just do one of these beautiful cards to show you. We'll do one and then I'll see how I feel. <laughs> see how I'm going. Oh, thank you all very much. You got notified. Oh, good. That's good. So nice to see all of your beautiful names and faces here. I'm just going to bring over my laptop a bit closer so that I'm not looking off into the distance at your comments. But I can see it nice and close here. Ah, oh, that's better. Hello, Nancy. Hi, Kathy, Joy, Margie. Oh, so nice to see you all here. And I woke up very late too. I woke up at 9am I meant to go live at 10, woke up at 9am and Bruno at about half past nine was like, honey, do you want to get up? <laughs> yeah, I've been sleeping a lot. I've been very lethargic. I don't know if that's a symptom of grieving, but that's how I've been dealing with it. I, I find it hard about three o'clock in the afternoon. I just want to put myself to bed, curl up in a ball and go to bed, but then I don't sleep at night. So... It's not a good idea. I did that for a couple of days and then I thought, no, nah, I've got to stop that from happening. Good to see you all. Oh, big hugs, Betty. Thank you for being here, Megan. And yes, I'm going to try and do a crazy crafters this afternoon. We'll see how I'm going. I will inform you one way or the other. And Rita, thank you so much for my cards. I've, got, I've been given a beautiful pile of cards already. Oh, thank you all so much. And there's another big pile to go through. Sympathy cards for Dad. And I really, really appreciate it. Look at this beautiful one here from Laura. So gorgeous. Yes. And then uh, we had some friends that even sent some non-Stampin' Up cards, which is very cute. And they're like, we're sorry they're not as beautiful as Stampin' Up cards. <clears throat> oh, good to know, girls. You went through the lethargy stage. Yeah, I was, I'm really tired. Every day I'm like, oh, I feel like I've, yeah, run a marathon or something. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And this one here, Rochelle Block, absolutely stunning. Look at that. She's a fellow Australian demonstrator. So it was just very, very kind of her to send this through. She's done some beautiful embossing on here and sponging and then added some splatters and pearls. So pretty. That's that new butterfly um, brilliance one. Actually, I don't know where I put my one that I made for the butterfly. I'm like, oh, have I even seen it lately? I don't think I've even seen it lately. And this one here. Nice black and white sympathy card. It's beautiful. That one there was from um, Ali McMain. Thank you, Ali. Really beautiful. Even this one here from Judy. 
Thank you, Judy. Just done some sponging. We really appreciate all the cards. It's so beautiful when they arrive. I'm just like, oh, so lovely. Thank you for thinking of us. I love that one with the paper. Isn't that gorgeous? It just looks so beautiful. And then the little butterfly. Oh, thank you, Heather. Yeah. Just taking a day at a time. I'm, I actually have no expectation of myself. And I just get up and I go, do I feel okay today? Yeah, I'll do a few things today. Or I'll just say, if I just do this today, I think I'll be happy. But, yeah. I've been, okay. I've been okay. I've been able to do a few things, which has been good. This one's gorgeous, isn't it? That's Robin. And she's in the Hello Daisies team, one of the girls in my team. Very, very sweet. Thank you, Robin. And is this Cheryl? I think this is Cheryl Stevens. Yes. Beautiful butterfly there. Isn't that butterfly just perfect? It's so beautiful. I love it for these cards. And that beautiful foil in the background. I just noticed that. Look at that foil. So precious. This is what it's all about, isn't it? Right? This is why we do card making. That was Tam Thomas. And she's used that beautiful ombre paper, I think it is. So pretty. And... That's part of the Dandy Garden Suite. Thank you, Tam. Um, we've got Rachel. Now, this one was actually a thank you for doing a talk with Brandy Barnard's team. She wanted to do something a bit special. So she did one of these cool cards. Isn't that amazing? It looks great with the... Um, with the little shells on there. And then it's got the little sentiment sitting on top there. It's very cool, this card. It's like, how does this work? How does it go flat? I've never tried one of these, so I'll have to give them a, a try. Because it's very cute. Yes, thank you, Rachel. She said thank you for doing the talk for us. And that she had to do something special. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> uh, what else have we got here? Anita sent this one through. Thank you, Anita. So beautiful. And, well, I'm getting so, I'm needing glasses so bad. I think this is Deb. Yeah, Deborah Pegan. Thank you, Deborah. It's very, very sweet. I love doing stamping on um, paper. I always forget to do that. It's a great way of using our designer series paper. And look at this one. This one's really cool. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? I thought that was really different and nice. Great way to use that beautiful paper too. Thank you, Kirsty. It's gorgeous. Um, oh yeah, Kylie sent that one. Kylie Curry. And she sent a beautiful gift along with it as well, which is so sweet. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Oh, you're so sweet, all of you. Big hugs to all of you too. Thank you for thinking of us. It really does mean so much. I just cannot believe... like. It's really overwhelming, I can tell you that. So thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Judy. Yeah, it's very true. And this was from my team leader, Sue Maddox, which is just so pretty. Look how beautiful that is. Thank you, Sue. It's just gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. And beautiful words too. And the last one I have here is with Leonie, but the others I've got to go through. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Beautiful colouring. Love the vellum behind. We do love vellum, don't we? Yeah. Oh, Bruno's here. Hi, Bruno. Good to see you.
see you. So that's our beautiful pile of sympathy cards and thinking of you cards. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. These are super duper precious to us. So we'll be keeping those. I've got like a little bag that I've kept all of them in so that when I get a bit sad, I can go through them again and read them. So they're going to be kept very precious. Thank you very much. They're my little keepsakes. <laughs> Velum. <laughs> it's Velum to Bruno, isn't it? <laughs> So I really wanted to highlight last week the um, Simply Succulents bundle. Um, and I just did not feel like it whatsoever, of course, because it was um, Dad's funeral last week and too much happening. So I just thought, and all of you are so understanding. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try this week. I, had, I did not have high hopes. I thought, well, I'll just see what comes out. I think I got into the craft room at about 9.30 last night and thought, let's just give this a try and see what happens. Because sometimes you lose your mojo. You're like, oh, no, do not feel like crafting. But I'm going to show you what I came up with. My little light's not happy today. It's flickering. Oops, just hit my iPad <laughs> so I'll show you what I came up with I'll show you here actually first I'm really happy with these cards can I just say I cannot believe so we've got this one here so I've done some succulent sponging and there's some subtle embossing behind so you could do a different embossing folder if you wanted to do an a different one and a similar vein but same same but different with this but look at that one so i've done it on the crumb cake and i've actually embossed that as well with that amazing painters um folder the embossing folder i think it's what is it called uh, i'll have a look in a moment but i love that embossing folder it's just such gorgeous texture and oh thanks Pammy my new light no I'm not using my new light it shows too many of my faults <laughs> it's too clear love this one how beautiful is that that sponging and then I've cut it down behind that one was really good to do and I love the colors that I've used is strangely enough this is very random, but this is what happens when you do a mashup of different colours. But I've got Granny Apple Green, Pretty Peacock and Rococo Rose. How gorgeous does that look? I'm really in love with that one. And then for my last one, this is very different for me. Dun, 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 dun. I really like it. I don't think you even saw this one, Bruno. So it's very different, but... Yay, we got a thumbs down. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, really different this one, but I love the sponging behind and I love how clean and it's actually thick whisper white. And I have done another layer here on, on top, so it's even thicker. Um, but yeah, these are all the cards that I made using this bundle and you'll see them on our blog, Kylie Petucci, this week. So I'm done for my week's blogging, which that's why I kind of thought, you know what, just push through Kylie because then you'll be sorted all for next week. You can just rest easy that you've done, you've done everything. Yes. Oh, hello, Helen. Oh, big hugs to Ali. Oh, thank you, Helen. So I want to make this one with you and in true Kylie style, let's mash it up a bit, hey? But I do want to show you this sponging because I think this one's very, very simple. And then we'll go from there. Um, I didn't use any of the dyes on that one, but you totally could. If you wanted to add in a little bit of extra special, you could. Because there's this gorgeous dye here. Oops, there goes one of the dyes. But there's this gorgeous dye here, which is really cool for layering. Yeah, and there's great sentiments in this one. Look at the sentiment dies. I really love all of these. And because these sentiments are 
perfect for random act of kindness. Thanks, kind people are my kind of people. And you make the ordinary extraordinary. You've been on my mind. I really love all of these sentiments in this set. Like I'd be happy to get this set just for the sentiments. And they're really funky and I love the cursive with the plain font. It's just my perfect, perfect font. So really love that they have that. So let's just jump on in here. I'm just going to grab this die that fell on the floor before I run over it with my chair. So I'll jump in here. Now I've used the amazing um, sponging brushes. So if you haven't had a play of these, highly recommend it. They're really fun to use. They do take a little bit of getting used to, but it didn't take me long to adjust and get used to it. Um, but they're really, really cool, these ones. Now, what we're going to need, we need some, and I, I thought for something different, I actually pulled out my shimmer cardstock. Um, it's a bit like the vellum cardstock. I think we forget that it's there because it's on a different page. But the shimmer cardstock is beautiful if you want to do a bit of sponging. And it just adds flecks of little bits of um, sparkle, which is just really nice, especially behind what we're doing today. So I'm going to use that. And then we also need a sheet of, just see if I've got some spare crumb cake here already cut down, in fact, because I do have a lot of crumb cake here. Let's see if I have a... No, I've just got the front piece. That's okay. At least we have one piece. And then I'll get, grab another sheet. And I think that's all we need. Yeah, it's nice and simple, isn't it? So I'll grab a sheet here. And do some chopping. So just cut your cardstock in half, whatever your half is. And if you have our card templates, it's actually the Gorgeous Grape size. So I've got Gorgeous Grape and then Poppy Parade. And yes, there it is there. Yes, Gorgeous Grape. So it opens like that. So you want that size and then the next layer is poppy parade so actually let's cut that one down so I don't think that that's the right size a little bit bigger and that and then with our little flower or the succulents all I did was sort of guesstimate the size i put it on here and i was like mm, how big do i want this to be that is literally what i did so it was about three inches or eight and a half centimeters so nothing profound and then you want another piece that's just a little bit bigger so maybe three millimeters bigger or um one eighth of an inch bigger and that will give you your little layer underneath. Just make sure that you're sponging on the right one. So it's going to go like that. Perfect. And then we want these to be 10 centimetres too, because that's the size of our layer. 10. So that's as simple as it gets for our chopping. And then we're going to go like that. And then we can decide what we want to do in the background now. So let's pop that over there. Now, I'll just fold this one in half. Hello, Belinda. Hi, Patty. <laughs> Hi, Bling Bling Crafter. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Bruno Bruno's just chatting. He's not he's not actually on the screen. He's just 
he's on the computer today chatting in the background. He made me my coffee this morning. And if I need anything, I can go, Bruno, I need a charge up. But I actually charged everything last night. So, yes, even my iPad's fully charged. Coffee. I love it. So, what are we going to do on here? I think we'll do our sponging first and then I can decide what I want to do in the background. So, with the sponging, what is really fun with this, and I've got one that I've already done sponging on. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess, <laughs> but I like to keep them for a very long time. Because, you know, it's environmentally good to do that, right? Waste not, want not, as my mother used to say. So here are my three colours, which are random colours, but they look really good together. Granny Apple Green, Pretty Peacock, and the Rococo Rose. Yeah, Bruno is the best. Hi, Caitlin. Good to see you. Oh, tell me when you need a refill. Thanks, hun. <laughs> yes, I can still have a laugh. <laughs> it actually is really nice um, that Dad started watching my videos um, in the last year, he would pop on and it, it used to throw me so much. I'd be like, oh my goodness, my dad is here. This is just really random. Um, yeah, it was really nice that he would join me on on the videos. It was like, hi, love. And I was like, oh my goodness, what is dad doing here? Because he doesn't know how to use technology. He was like shocking at it. But yes, it was good that we got time on Zoom together sort of a year a year before the last year since the pandemic um yeah we got to go on zoom every week which was nice as a family we'll still keep it up hey mandy good to see you yes we use centimeters here so i've just covered it with granny apple but you don't have to and i've left little pieces um but yeah you could either start with the peacock or start with the granny apple but I decided to start with the granny apple because it's a little bit lighter and it gives me a little bit more control, I feel, than if I went with the pretty peacock straight away. Um, and the cool thing is, is you can cover this in bits, but some parts you can do stronger with the pretty peacock and some you can do lighter. So I can sort of go a bit heavier here and then go a little bit lighter up here and then leave parts that are a little bit, um, you know, less done. And then that's where we can bring in our Rococo. And I use my other one. I actually just use the three and it still is working fine for me, which is amazing, particularly if I go to use a yellow, I've been using my green blue brush for the yellow and it seems to be going okay which I thought I might need more but yeah uh, eventually I might get another set uh, but I think yeah six will definitely be more than enough I probably all I will do is just have one more for the yellows but I do blue green on here red pink purple and then the neutral color for the other one because they come in a pack of three um, which is really good value. I really like these brushes. Yeah, they're really nice. They're like little baby brushes. They remind me of when um, when we had a little baby brush when we were growing up. Mum had lots of babies. I've got um, four brothers and sisters. So there's babies everywhere. <laughs> there was always a baby in the house that I had brushed their hair threw them in the pool so isn't it beautiful with this Rococo like I'm just adding bits in nothing you know revolutionary but I've just added bits in and just kept going and it just adds such a beautiful coloring to it that it surprised me that this color actually matched the mint macaron because I haven't even used mint macaron and yet look how perfect it goes with that color because I used granny apple green and pretty peacock and somehow that color combo makes 
mint macaron. Don't ask me how, but I ran with it. I was like, what color do I want in the background of this one? And the mint macaron was just absolutely stunningly perfect on here. So you can see the texture in this one. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. So that is our sponging. If you want to do more, you can layer more. Um, but I really like that. I think it looks excellent. So pretty peacock, granny apple green. Yeah, I think they blend together really pretty too. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh, good, Rebecca. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I love these colours. I think they're very, very pretty. And with the um, granny, I mean the crumb cake, um, it's just such a perfect little combo there. And it really helps to accentuate those colours even more. You could probably even use these colours for Northern Lights if you wanted to as well. <laughs> I love it. Chop it. Sponge it. I love it. Chop it. Now, let's do some memento ink. I've just inked this up recently, so it's nice and happy and juicy. Nothing better than doing a bit of re-inking. We realized that we didn't have any memento ink. It was like, what? How do we not have any ink, any refill? So we fixed that issue very quickly. Quick smart. Now, all I want to do is just make sure I've got enough room to do some stamping. And actually, I'm going to turn it around. I want my stamping to be on the lighter side. So I'll just flip that around. And I'm going over to the side here a little bit so that I give myself some room for my thanks. And then we can add that on. Give it a little bit of a push. With the stamps, try not to wiggle them. If you're new to stamping, if you wiggle, then you might get a little bit of a, a line around the edge. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? So amazing and so simple. And then I'm going to bring in my thanks. Now, what I like to do with my sentiments, even though this graph paper is very, very dirty, um, <clears throat> what I like to do is just bring in the grid paper, line up my block with the grid and I and I just line up my word and then that way I know if my block is straight <clears throat> then hopefully the word will be straight that's the goal <laughs> but <clears throat> this cursive writing is a little bit more forgiving that if it's not straight see how I straight away I wanted to go I wanted to make the step straight but I'm like no 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 You've just lined it up and you know that the block needs to be straight. So it's a little bit of a <clears throat> optical illusion for the eye because you think, oh no, it's not going to be right. But let's have a look here. I've lined up this piece here straight on the grid. This is why I love my grid paper. Now I think I've got enough room here. But anyway, if we grab a little bit of the tree, that's okay. Oh, perfect. Looks like it's attached to the tree, which actually looks really good. I love this font. You had me at font stamping up. And then all we're going to do is stick that down onto our little base. And I like having this layer behind because it helps to accentuate that beautiful sponging. We want to highlight the fact that we've done some beautiful colouring there. Stamp that, or stick that. I've noticed I've also started like forgetting words. Like I've got like memory loss, which is really weird. I don't know if that's anything to do with what's going on, but I was like, oh, I'm forgetting things and saying something different. Now I found that my crumb cake, I think I actually do need to buy a new crumb cake. Do you want to add that to our list of things to get, Bruno? It's really strange, but even the label has gone a little bit mint macaron. But I noticed it's really dark. I had to sort of stamp off. So I might get a new one of these. But I just used some of our flowers here. 
Let's have a look. Some of our succulents, I should say. And I just stamped that with the crumb cake, but I'm just gonna stamp off because it's quite dark. And I want them to be nice and light. We'll come in with the smaller one. Take that one off. And again, do stamping off. And this is good because it can layer too. So even doing it like this, see how it's quite strong? Um, this is a beautiful background layer too. Like if you want to create your own background, you could do just this without any of the other steps that we're doing to it. But it is beautiful. And then if you wanted to, what I really enjoy doing, because I have them here, so why not? But I like to do my sponge daubers. I've got all the different colours here. I've got them all in my little list. I actually have to get some of these too. So put that on the list too, Bruno, please. <laughs> some more of the sponge daubers. So crumb cake is about here. Although it looks a bit more like soft suede, but I'm going to see how I lift it and it's got crumb cake in there. So I'm going to use that. And what I'll do is just get my sponge jobber. You can put it on your finger and then you just do a bit of dabbing, not that dabbing, this dabbing, <laughs> and then just flick along the edge here. And I really, really love this technique because for the same reason that we layered this one, it just helps that layer to pop and gives it a little bit of texture it makes it appear like it's sort of popping off the page. I really love this without having to add another layer behind, without me having to add a sheet of Whisper White or another colour behind. It's giving me that same effect without having to add a piece of cardstock in, which is a really handy little trick. And once you start doing it, you'll be like, oh my goodness, I need to do it with every layer. <laughs> I don't do it all the time, but I do I do love doing this sort of thing, particularly with this type of card that's quite grungy and nature and textured. I really like doing that. So that's just with the sponge daubers. So, and they're from Stampin' Up as well. You can get them from Stampin' Up. So as you can see here, it will layer like so, and then we'll layer this as well on top. And I don't think I'm gonna use any dimensionals because I want that to sort of match up. Isn't that beautiful? Now, if you wanted to, you could totally um, emboss this base layer as well, which I did. Um, I did some embossing, which was really nice for adding more texture. But I think for this one today, I'm just gonna leave it as is and highlight that beautiful background. So I'll just stick that all down. And then we've got ourselves a card, people. Can you believe it? What time? Less than half an hour. <laughs> the Bling Bling Crafter wants to ask Bruno a question. You can ask Bruno a question. He'll read your question and he'll answer too for you. Just pop it up and Bruno will be more than happy to help you. So I'll stick that down. Oh, it looks so beautiful. And this would just look completely different if you put this all on white, like gorgeous as well. That would just make this whole thing pop and then maybe do a subtle folder. Really, really beautiful. So just try different colouring. 
even the Rococo, I wanted to try the Rococo, but I just didn't end up adding it. Um, but you could do that as a layer if you wanted something a little bit more like, you know, vibrant or poppy. Um, yeah, really, really pretty. Even the um, Pretty Peacock, you know, for a darker sort of shade. Just by changing out the, the colours, it can completely change the card as well. I love that. Far away, bling, bling crafter. <laughs> so there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? So simple, but such a great card. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's just got such gorgeous um, little specks of, of um, what would you call it? Shimmer. It's just so pretty, that shimmery cardstock. And just really beautiful to sponge on too. It's a beautiful cardstock to try sponging on because the sponging just, it, it tends to move a lot nicer too. Um, but I really love that. And I've got an insert here that we can put inside because <clears throat> we can't leave it nudie, right? Can't have any nudie broodies here. So we've got that one and I want to use the big one because it's just so gorgeous this stamp. I love how versatile this is like you can um, use the dies and cut it out. Even if you use this like multiple times on a card it would look so hot. In fact I should really try that. I think that should be another card. <laughs> I also thought um, it would be beautiful if you did white embossing and then did some colouring with the white embossing as a border. So pretty. It's just such a versatile set. So you can sort of come along here and use any part of this to do these corners and it's got like a different look to it just because you've used different parts of the stamp. So if you use this part here, it would almost look like it's part of a, a different stamp. So it's just really fun for coloring. Um, one of the cards that I did with the blends, so this one here, um, definitely go and check out um, Patty Bennett for the blends. She does such brilliant coloring, particularly with this set as well. Um, but I ended up sticking with similar colours to what I'd used. Um, but I just added in the Rich Razzleberry, the Granny Apple, and then the Mint Macaron, which was a really interesting combo. So this one here is the Mint Macaron and then the Light Rich Razzleberry. Rich Razzleberry Dark and Light. Rich Razzleberry Dark and Granny Dark. And it just comes up so pretty. And then in the background, I've done the peacock and the granny. So they've all got the similar, same sponging, um, but you can just see it just comes up really great. <laughs> King of dimensionals. Yeah, and even the same with that background. It's just that gorgeous coloring, isn't it? Just so pretty. And all I did with this, because here in Australia, I know for a lot of people, this dye has been a little bit frustrating because it's not our sizing it's not the right and so a lot of people have said they've stopped using it but what I did was cut it down so that I could use and it's actually the if you've got my card templates it's actually the mango uh, no that one's that layer there in the background but it's the next one down oh yes it was this one the daffodil delight so the daffodil delight layer if you cut this die down to that size in Australia then it's the perfect like then we can actually get the edge that we need and it fits a usual sized card in Australia so it's a little bit of surgery but I feel the surgery is 100% worth doing and then by adding this layer underneath this border, it looks like it's part of the die. So I really like that. I think it looks like the actual die itself. And it was, yeah, I think it was fun to be able to cut it down. I pretty much 
had it pre-cut the size that I wanted it and then just did a tiny little bit of snipping. Hi! What have I missed? Hi! Hi, Hi Robertson! Thanks for watching Bling Bling Crafter. <laughs> Brenna saying hi. <laughs> did she? Did you want to see Bruno's face? Did you? <laughs> it's like he's a real person. He really does exist. He's not just in the other room. <laughs> so, what else do we have here? I'm going to do the insert. Here we go. But yes, I love those blends, and that dye is just so so pretty. Here we go. I think that's got everything. I'm like, have I got it the right way around? Yes. So gorgeous. And it's really fun too if you want to add some um, Designer Series paper in your card as well. I think it looks really good adding that in. But isn't that a beautiful card? It's so pretty. And I think any colors that you add and change up, you could change the sponging. There's so many different things that you could do with this card, but really simple, really easy. No dyes even. So um, no dimensionals even. <laughs> it's like shock. What? No dimensionals. And you could, you could dimensionalize that. But I just really love the simplicity and the, the elegance of this card. I think it, it really is such a pretty card. Um, and that's it with the, the texture added in, which is nice. Oh, thank you, Heather. Yes, we love a thumbs up. So, yeah, definitely look at our blog this week, um, KylieBatucci.com. And also, I wanted to just show you... I'll just hold these up so that everyone can see them. Let's have a look here. How am I going to get them all fitting in? <laughs> it's always the challenge, right? <laughs> it's like, how do I get you all in? Little cards. Okay, I think we've worked it out. Yes. Or actually, oh no, I'll do it like that. <laughs> there we go. Yay! So succulent cards. So let's have a look here because I've got um, some show and tell for you. So our brand new tutorial of the month just went live. I know a lot of you support us with that tutorial and we're really grateful for that. Uh, but this one here, can I just say, is pretty special. Britta was like, oh my goodness, the... He goes, the sneak peeks don't even do these projects justice because they're that beautiful. So let me just show you. Mm, I think I've got it here. Oh, I've got it on my blog. Let's show me show my blog. We'll do some we'll do some blog hopping. <laughs> so let's just pop my little face up in the corner there. So this is my blog, KylieBatucci.com. So definitely come over here if you want to subscribe to our blog by email so you don't miss anything. I've got the link in the links below in YouTube. So you can click on this one, the tutorial bundle blog hop. And for our tutorial bundle, we have this one here, the Hydrangea Hill. Um, I've actually done some scrappy strips on my card this month. Um, I, I channeled my inner Bruno and I love the colors. And you know what's really funny? <laughs> I used all the wrong colours. I was meant to use like Rococo Rose, but I used Blushing Bride. Um, there was another colour that, oh, that's right. I used um, Balmy Blue instead of the other blue. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> so yes, I forgave myself and moved on. But I, I really like the colours. I think they look really, really good together. So sometimes you can use... An alternative similar color but change it out a bit so I can give you some ideas on that but um, yeah some of the girls have got 3d projects you can't tell with the sneak peek but they are actually stunning 3d projects with a video as well so Brenna will pop up the link if he hasn't already he probably already has 
Here's a little sample that I made that's really, really simple. I just wanted to show you how quick and easy this paper can make you look like a hero and the ribbon as well. And if you wanted to purchase the tutorials, you can click anywhere on my blog as well. But definitely go and check out these amazing projects. I'll just highlight Rachel's here because it was just incredible. I'd love to make this with you all one day. I thought it was so clever. So what she's done is a beautiful folder here with the cards that go inside the folder. So it's a card set and holder with a video here. So you want to come over and have a look. She's got all the measurements here of what she... Oh, that's right. It was meant to be seaside spray, the paper, and I used Balmy Blue. <laughs> but here is all the cards that it fits. So it has six cards in total. And it fits three on each side in this little case. So clever. Isn't that beautiful? It's got this beautiful belly band. And here are all the cards and the little folder. What a beautiful gift to give to someone. So definitely come and check out uh, Rachel's blog. And check out this whole blog hop. Because you are just going to love the inspiration that you get from all of our designers. They're just such a talented bunch of women. Um, just incredible stampers. So yeah, come and check it out. So you can go to the very end of this blog post and it'll have the list here of all of our designers. So you can come and have a look at these beautiful designs, which is a lot of fun. So I think that is, uh, I'll just add it here. Oh yeah, Bruno's got it there. Brilliant. So yeah, if you wanted that tutorial, it's $22 Australian and it has 12 tutorials with videos. And yes, the measurements are for everyone worldwide. So we have both inches for the US and Canada and then centimeters or metric for the rest of the world. So that's good. Yeah, a pocket for stamps. Yeah, it's amazing. Go have a look at that blog hop. It's really, really good. Uh, so I think that was all the news. Was there anything else, Bruno, that you thought of? The new butterfly uh, bouquet has gone live. I don't know where I've put that card. <laughs> I don't know where it's gone. It's somewhere in here. Uh, but yes, I made a card. I'll show it on my blog, actually, rather than in person. I don't think I've already given it away. Oh, is this it? I think I found it. Yes, I found it. Small things, right? So this is my card that I did for the butterfly bouquet or butterfly brilliance. I've seen it being called as well. Um, but yeah, gorgeous, isn't it? So what I did here behind this little butterfly here was I added some vellum or velum as Bruno would call it. So this butterfly can make, be a like standalone because I, I put it on there and it kind of showed too much of the paper. It didn't sort of pop off the page as much as I wanted it to. So I just added, because the die actually cuts it out for you, like the intricate section, but then also the background section. So I was very excited about that and just laid it on top with a little bit of Tombow glue on the body and in this section here and added some love it chop it paper and this is from the many messages sentiments now a bit of a sneak peek you know i love to show you a sneak peek but i will have a lot more to show you on tuesday but these are our customer cards of the month so if you place an order with us in the month of march not only will you receive one of these gorgeous cards, but you will also receive a pack of pearls or it might be a pack of the matte black dots. Um, so you'll get some embellishments as a gift because we want to keep the party going. We want the fun to keep going, even though uh, Celebration has finished. Uh, we want you to keep enjoying some lots of fun and excitement. And you'll also receive the Hydrangea Hill, which is what this is made from, you'll get that tutorial for free when you order with us in Australia. Plus, you also get to join our card making course, 
that's usually $99, you get to go into that for free as well. So you get access to our free card making course. So we have a lot of support um, creatively and also lots of loyalty rewards as well. So you'll get a loyalty card on top of that. So we have a lot of things that we do. We spoil our customers a lot and our team members a lot, <laughs> but they deserve it. They deserve being spoiled. So I'll put a link up here. If you're not part of our team or you're not a, um, a customer of ours, you can actually purchase our card making course and we have some more videos that will continue to be put up there. Um, I've just been given a video from two new people, Alison Solvin, a few other people like that. So yeah, everyone can buy US, you can buy um, everyone's tutorials. So everyone's welcome to purchase that. That's something that we can open up to worldwide, which is nice. And the card making course, anyone worldwide can purchase that. Just not stamping up supplies. That's just for Australians. And same with joining, just Australians. We'd love to have all of you join our team, but <laughs> we sadly can't. <laughs> so thank you so much for being with us today. I'm really glad I popped on. I actually am feeling really so much better just getting up out of bed i think it's a good thing to do try and stay into a routine as much as possible and yeah today i'll keep myself nice and busy might even get to go for a walk that would be nice wouldn't it I'm meant to be doing pilates this afternoon but we'll see how that goes <laughs> yes oh you can't find the car making class just email us carol we'll get you we'll get you connected we'll give you the link <laughs> you'll find it in fact if you've signed up um, already you should be able to just click on that and log in and it will take you straight to the class but you will need to have the login oh there's Bruno continue the fun you get the pastel pearls the matte black dots all the opal rounds I couldn't think of the third one so you can place an order over I think what did you say what was the amount Bruno over what amount do they get it free? I had it somewhere. But anyway, you can message us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was over fifty dollars that you got it got those free little things. Yeah. Thank you, Sue. Yeah, I'm totally gonna just take one day at a time, see how I go, and not push myself too much. I think that's the key. Oh, thank you all very much. I have a lot of good friends too that are supporting us. We had the other night, I did not feel like cooking at all. I was just like, oh, and I didn't feel like takeaway. So I was just lying there. And I, I probably should have just mentioned it to Bruno because Bruno is actually a very good cook and he would just cook in a heartbeat. But anyway, we went for a walk and I thought, I'll see how I feel after the walk. And then as we were walking, friends tooted us, beep, beep. And they're like, we're just dropping something off at your house. And it's our Indian friends. And I was like, oh my goodness, please be Indian food. And it was, it was so delicious and yummy. And it was like a big warm hug. I was so happy. I was like, oh, so glad I don't have to think about dinner. <laughs> and it had homemade bread and the most amazing cauliflower dish. Oh, it was just the best. It was better than any Indian restaurant we could have bought from. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and yes, the $22 gets everyone's tutorials. Bling Bling Crafter, it's everyone's. Yeah, you get 12. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you, Mandy. Yeah, I've noticed that. It's going to be a roller coaster ride. So big hugs to you all. Thank you all so much for all your messages and your support of us. Um, really appreciate it. Yes, so true, Pammy. <laughs> Um, but big hugs and thank you very, very much. Keep sharing your craft around the world because I know for us it's just meant so much receiving all of these beautiful cards. And as soon as I finish today, I'm going to be going through this next stack of cards <laughs> that have arrived. So thank you so much. It's really very, very precious. But um, yeah, keep that up. S send it to anyone you can think of, family, friends. We all need it at this time, definitely. Yeah. Over 50. Yes, I got it right. <laughs> so big hugs to you all and we'll see you next week. Um, look out for what I'm going to do next week. I have no idea. 
I'm thinking, in fact, I do have an idea. I really want to play with this one here. I saw it today and I thought, ooh, should I do that one? But I want to play with, uh, let me have a look. I just saw it before and I was like, oh, that's the one I want to do next. There it is. Treasured medallion. I want to have a play with this one. So that will be next week's video. I want to have a, a really nice play with that one because I haven't played with that one yet. So there you go. That's my next week's video. <laughs> Big hugs. Thank you all very much. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Miss you already. See you soon.